It's a lot to play for, though. Yeah. 500 wreck in the ACC, maybe a better tier bowl with a seven-win season. I mean, yeah, you still – there is a lot to play for. Uh, six and five going to the last game. We need to improve on a lot of things. we got some new guys who have stepped up and want to get better. And then you get those bowl practices in. You still have a chance to win eight games. Um, there's a lot of pride on these guys on the team, you know. There's still a lot ahead of us, and and they're excited. They came in, um, they came in with a great attitude. Today was a physical practice, and they're working at it. So they're excited to go, um, be at home this week. They're looking forward to getting back here. What did you do with the extra time? Did you just give them time off, or did you? How did you use these extra days? We we use it to recover. I mean, it was a playing two games so quickly like we did. Yeah. We use it to recover, and then we use the extra time for more kind of walk through in meetings, and then we cranked it back up today with a physical practice. We didn't want to use the extra time to kind of beat them up anymore just because they were coming off of a short week. Mm -hmm. um, so we used it mental, uh, the mental stuff to our advantage and, and got recovery in. You mentioned eight wins. Do you talk about it now? I didn't even talk about it on a weekly, 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 weekly basis, but now do you mention, you know, we have to get to eight? No, it's got to be, we got to get this win. Yeah. Um, we got to go out and work and prepare and, and get better and do everything we can to win this one. And then we'll talk about the next one after that. But no, I haven't really. I'm sure maybe the guys have, just not me in front of the team right now. Still, we gotta, you know, we gotta we gotta look closely at um, what we can do to improve and what we can do to win this game against a good team. Um, and that's really been the focus. Have you seen any themes between you know the wins versus losses, like any consistent trends in the six wins versus the five losses? Yeah, you lose a turnover battle, you're you're gonna lose the football game, and that's. That's really what it's come down to. Against Virginia Tech, we lost a turnover battle, and then we lost a turnover battle to nothing in the pit game. Um, you can't give the ball away, and if we we have to take it away, and we haven't taken the ball away in the last two weeks either. So, complimentary football includes protecting the football and taking the ball away, and those possessions are huge, especially when they're in the red zone, for example. Right, you're giving away points. Um, that's the biggest thing. And then we got to be more efficient when we do cross the 40. Um, and then there's plays to be made. We had a chance to pick off multiple passes in that game. And we had a chance to get the ball carrier down. And that turned into big runs. And we can't do that. So we just need to be more efficient. We got to get our legs back and play faster than we did last week. I thought we were a little bit slow coming off the short week. So we got to, we need to play fast, um, get to the ball. But we got to protect it and take it away. That's the biggest thing from those two that I could point out to. As a Northeast guy to, to revamp this little Big East rivalry, just your thoughts on playing Miami again? Yeah, I think it's a great matchup. Um, you know, one that back in the day in the Big East we used to play all the time. Um, I think it's been a while, right? Yeah. And it's probably been a while since they've come out here. Um, I have a lot of respect for the tradition, the history, uh, what Coach Cristobal is, is doing, and the talent that he's brought in in his first two years. Um, you know, I know they're a six and five team that. The last five or six games have been very close against Louisville, against Florida State. They've won two games in overtime. Um, you know, they beat up Texas A&M pretty good. It's a talented group. Um, offensively, their offensive line is big and fast and athletic. They play with multiple running backs. I mean, I think six guys touch the ball. They got good wide receivers. And then their defensive line, their, their tackles are projected first round pick. Their linebackers can fly. I think their safety, the one kid's a projected really high draft pick. He's a really good football player. So the talent's definitely there. It's, it's probably as talented as Miami has been in a long time. Um, and, and, and our guys are excited to play another game. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You guys obviously, you, you want to be playing through December, basically, and probably will be. But um, is there sort of a finality to this week of, you know, hey, it's the last week of the regular season already? Or does it feel like it went by quick? Um, I, haven't really, ever? I haven't really thought about it. Um, no, because we still have one more game left after this. So it doesn't feel like it's the last game. Uh, so it's not the last time the team will play together. Um, again, I know I haven't really thought about it in that regard. As it went by fast, sometimes it went by really fast, and sometimes it went by really slow. So, yeah, some has for sure. Yeah. Some's gone by slow. Mm -hmm. Who are some uh, unsung heroes that we haven't talked about? Anyone you want to shout out who's been you know, stepping up consistently? Yeah, I think the one guy you probably talk about a little bit is Cam Horsley. I mean, it's just, I, yeah. I mean, just so consistent, so reliable. He does such a good job in the middle. And I think the perfect way when I think about him was the other night when we missed a couple tackles and the ball broke, that guy was like, he was sprinting down the field with everything he had. 
from a defensive tackle, from a no standpoint, until the guy got in the end zone. I mean, he just gives you everything that he has. Um, and it's, it's really awesome to see. Um, so I, I, the way you appreciate that is, I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, that'd be probably the one guy that just jumps out in my mind. Hey, back to him a second. I mean, I was always told the nose tackle, the linebackers get the tackles, but it's the nose tackle that creates the situation for them to get the tackles. Is, is that what he does? He draws the double teams and he... Yeah, he gets double teamed a lot. Okay. So imagine having 600 plus pounds on you play after play. And there's some times where his job is to hold the double team so the backers are free to the ball. So they can't climb up and block the backer. And then there's some times where we give him a shot. But yeah, he takes on... It is a very um, unselfish... Um, low glory, you get beat up in there. Yeah. I mean, imagine playing in a game for 50 plays and just having a guard and center just driving you back every other play. I mean, that's why he's an unsung hero because you don't really get to see him do much, but he does just as much as anybody on our defense. He's a really good player, really, really good football player. And I, I think he's one of the better players in the ACC and just doesn't get credit because of the nature of the position and probably the production. You just don't yeah. see it. So I'm glad you asked that question because he definitely would be the guy. What's the situation in your secondary? Um, well, we're pretty banged up right now. Um, Cole Batson, he missed the game. So we played a, a bunch of guys at uh, free safety last week. Um, you know, Amari's been the one constant that we've had who's played all year. We're bouncing guys in, in between at nickel position with uh, CJ Klingscales and Jalen Cheek. And then Max Tucker, the freshman, and Cheek have been bouncing outside at the other corner. Um, KP Price, a freshman, came in and played a bunch of safety in the game, and I thought he did a good job. I think he's going to be a good player. Um, you know, we're going to have to play with a bunch of different guys and, and sub them like we can and see if we can get Cole back. You really miss Cole last week. He's kind of the quarterback back there who makes all the checks, gets everybody got, everybody lined up. We had the one kind of miscommunication that hurt us in the game. He's usually the, the voice back there. Um, so we've kind of lost our two veterans back there, but the guy's got to step up. And, you know, I think the young guy's done a pretty good job. KP's one of those guys that he's done a nice job, and he plays really hard. He's going to be a good player. Are you going to keep up with the other Super Bowls in Massachusetts? I hope that starts on th Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. yeah, so I'll get out there. Um, I'll get out there when I can, just like I have in the past. Yeah. So good luck to all those teams, and it'll be fun to watch them. Hopefully it doesn't pour this year like it did last year, that whole day. Are you going? Oh, yeah. Good. Three days. Yeah, it'll be fun. They don't usually start on Wednesday, do they? No, because Army Navy is the week after. Got it. And Patriots play on Sunday. So they start early and then Friday. Yep. Got it. On tailbacks, uh, how do you break them up like Broom and Robichaux? Is it like big midfield? Or is there different scenarios to where you use one over the other? Yeah, there's certain plays that each of them are good at that the coaches will know if they want to run a certain type of play. And Kai's good at it. He'll go in if Broom. Uh, he'll go in. Uh, Broom does a lot of stuff on third down. Um, and then there's also, you know, Kai just got four carries in a row, and he's ex he's tired, so yeah. he taps his helmet, and in comes Broom, and then kind of rotate him that way. But there's certain plays that, you know, some prefer to run with one over the other. But that's really it. Field position, yeah, there's some guys you'd like in in short yardage situations, yeah. right? Kai's obviously okay, the bigger yeah. back. Um, I thought Kai had a good game again coming off of the injury. Um, I thought he played really well. I thought he ran really hard, and I wish he could have done more. Any other Great. questions? Wait Wednesday. All right, guys. Thanks.